one last time. One last time. <laughs> Bad Boys. Me and my wife just seen the new Will Smith Martin Lawrence movie, Bad Boys for Life. It's part three in the trilogy. The only question we have to start this review off is where the hell they been at all this long? Oh my goodness. They've been gone way too long. Way but too I'm long. happy they're back. Yes, the yeah. movie was pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and give you our honest review whether you should go spend that money. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe. I'm Lamont. This is my wife, Crystal. This is the new Life Gains review channel. It is also going up on the Life Gains podcast. You can find us there. And also on my main channel, that's just my name, Lamont Tyson. So this story is about Marcus and Mike, if you're familiar with the story, have to confront new issues, career changing issues as both these guys are going through midlife crisis. As they join a newly created elite team called Ammo, which is another sub team that Miami has started to fight crime, to fight cartels, the police department are here to take down this ruthless killer named Armadas Armas, the vicious leader of a brand new Miami cartel. And man, it took us for a ride. The movie is directed by L. Di Arby, and screenplay and writers are Chris Bremer and Peter Craig. Honey, first impressions. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was about two hours long. Right. Um, and I was entertained the whole time. I was never bored. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of action, a lot of comedy, um, a little bit of a little bit of drama, or yeah. I don't know if you call it drama. Yeah. yeah. So I, I enjoyed it. It took me through a lot of emotions. Th this was a really good action movie. And what made the movie good for these two, we all are familiar with the Bad Boy franchise, if you've seen it before. You know the chemistry between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. It's going to be something you can't take your eyes off of. Mm -hmm. So throughout this movie, they have their ongoing banter, jokes, inside jokes, and a lot of it was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. But what we did like was that they made light of the fact that these two cats are older. They old G's now. And they done a lot of that by sprinkling in the new young G's as they were taking on these criminals popping up in Miami. They old G's, but one of them don't want to accept that they're an old G. Well, it I, shouldn't be hard to figure out which one. Obviously, y'all know that's my boy he's, Mike Lowry. He still got a lot of swag. He, got and he lot don't want to accept that he's right. a, a old head now. Right. And and as she <laughs> said, the action, the things you come to expect from a bad boys movie, they delivered on every part. The main action scene in this movie is going to be a motorcycle scene, which was really, really good. Now, it wasn't as good as the car chase in the last movie when they was on the highway in Miami just shooting cars off. It won't that good. Will Smith, his character had a brand new car, and this car wasn't as good as the car from the last movie. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but the transition and the way they tried to introduce new characters, new actors, and a new storyline, we really felt like they hit a home run on all those things because both of us kind of came in a little jaded because we felt like the last two movies were so good and the, the weight kind of took away some of the, the panache going into the movie. But once you got in there, from the very minute it starts to the end, you will be thoroughly entertained. Yeah, I agree. One thing that I was happy about is that it was very, the plot was very age appropriate for mm -hmm. who they are today. Right. You know, right. so they're not trying to keep them, the young, you know, young guys from back in the day, still trying to run around and be young. Mm -hmm. They were weaving in the fact that one of them was older, getting towards retire, retirement. One of them had a grandbaby. Exactly. Um, and then the other one, of course, he's older, but he doesn't want to accept that he's older and so he's still trying to live a little bit of that that lifestyle so mm -hmm. i like how that clashed and ultimately came together in the end and for those of you that are going to go see it there is a post credit scene that basically acts as though they're going to have another movie mm -hmm. now we're not going to ruin the movie this is not a this is not going to be a um spoiler alert or anything like that mm -hmm. but stay for the post credit scene because the character that you're going to see at the end is connected to Will Smith and Martin's characters, somehow, some way, you will see when you go see the movie. Yeah, I think it gave them some wiggle room. Right. So, exactly. you know, they're saying this is the last ride for the two of them. And it may be, it may not be, who mm -hmm. knows. Mm -hmm. um, but the way they ended it, it, it could go either way. Right. They could possibly start a new franchise with fresh characters and maybe just sprinkle in Martin and Will here and there. 
Now let's get to the dynamics of the movie. The cinematography was excellent. Um, anytime you could see Miami from an aerial view, mm -hmm. anytime you could see a car chase in slow motion in the dark and not be worried about it being too dark that you can't see what's going on, they did an outstanding job. These are some of the things they did good. Yeah, you that, saw Miami club, street club right. scene, street mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, you saw it all. Acting, outstanding. What do you expect from Will Smith? He was good. But the other characters did an outstanding job as well. Like I said, they had some new cats they're bringing in on the scene. They did a good job. Mm -hmm. um, what else you felt like was good about this movie? Um... I like the kind of like the background family stuff that was going mm -hmm. on, <laughs> going on with Martin. Right. He, there, there, <laughs> even though this is a big action movie, there was some drama involved in this movie as well. Martin had an inner looping story going on that all married men, if you've been married long enough, you can attest to some of the things Martin was talking about. And if you've been a single dude for a long time and you ever had one you felt like got away, that is another storyline that they gave Will Smith that you should keep your eyes on. You're not going to see that one coming. Now, let's talk about the bad, honey, because no movie is perfect. Actually, I haven't... I can't think of any... Oh, well, the bad that I I wasn't too crazy... or The, the part that annoyed me mm -hmm. was um, there are some scenes where Will had to coach Martin into continue to be a police officer basically yeah so he's supposed to be out there protecting the two of them and i think that banter back and forth when you got a lot of bullets flying was a little unrealistic and took a little bit too long right so it's like you know you're gonna have to shoot so shoot <laughs> right and and she she just basically dived into the point i was gonna say the movie could have been shorter you could have took out some of that banter and made the movie a little shorter not saying that it was bad it, i'm not saying that at all I'm just saying when you're older people like me and my wife and you work for a living, you ain't going to see this shit after 7 o'clock. <laughs> now, you will stay awake. Don't get me wrong. You will stay awake. I could have did this after 7 o'clock. It would have kept it, me. It was it good enough. It would have kept me awake. It would, but they still could have took out some scenes that didn't need to be there. Of course, there are going to be some outrageous blow-ups. Yeah. Helicopters falling, motorcycles splitting up. Well, you know, good and well, they shouldn't have survived the right. action, but they walked through for the most unscathed. part unscathed. Yep. Yeah, you did have a little bit of that. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, everything else about this movie was great. I almost want to say I wish it would have came out in the summer because we're so used to it being big summer action movies. Mm -hmm. But this is a great way to start off 2020 movie year. And if it goes like this, this should be a good year. I would love to see Martin and Will play in a movie against Jason Statham and The Rock. Because, you know, that's trying to be the new bad boys crew. Mm -hmm. But if we could get them four on screen kind of as adversaries in the beginning and then you flip it, they're having to work together, man, that would be <laughs> like an all-star game oh, in the man. movie theater. So let's get let's give you guys our life gains number now what? wait now will he did an interview where he said that um they asked him why did it take them so long to do another movie right um and he said after they did the first two they didn't want to just do some kind of just random movie just trying to build up off the hype of the previous ones if it wasn't going to be done right right so even though it took so long i think this movie was done right it was done I, right you know i really yeah. enjoyed it the action with the plot was good so right and i'm sitting here talking with someone who if you don't have a good thick narrative this chick will go to sleep <laughs> so what would you rate this movie i'm gonna give it an eight i'm gonna give it an eight and a half okay i really enjoyed the movie um god bless martin and will they did a good job the only reason i wouldn't give it higher is because i don't like that they made us wait this long i don't care what will smith said that was a pc answer uh -huh. nigga <laughs> you could have got this movie out there a little earlier than this he could have got the movie out. They can say whatever they want to say. This could have been done two years ago the same way it was just done. Mm -hmm. So that's my only knock. 8.5. Definitely worth you going to see mm -hmm. in the theater. For sure a matinee. So leave us your comments if you've seen it. Tell us what you think. Anything you got to say in closing. No. I mean, other than it was just great seeing the two of them on screen again. Right, so, right. So, like, fed into the nostalgia that I mm -hmm. had for, you know, the movies from back in the day. So, I yeah. really enjoyed it. It was a good movie. That's going to do it for this review, y'all. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. 
Go and become a subscriber on the New Life Games Review channel. Stick with my old channel and listen to us on the podcast because on this podcast, I'm not pulling no punches. You never know what I might say. Oh, help me. Yes, help her, Lord. <laughs> and until that next sex is hell review, we'll see you.